the novelizations of Nightmare on Elm Street 1, 2, and 3. Um, they're very close, I would say, to the movies, except for the third one. It's nothing like the movie. It's very different. I think it was like an original script or original early drafts of the scripts. I don't know. But I have The Nightmare is on Elm Street, parts 1, 2, and 3, the continuing story. So, all three of them in here, and there's actually some pictures... Oh, I'm sorry. It's been, a, it's been a while, guys. There's some pictures from the movies and just really cool. I really love it. The Nightmares on Elm Street. Um, part 4, The Dream Master. And Part 5, The Dream Child. Again, novelizations. Um, and with... Are there pictures? Yes. There are pictures inside. Um, you know, and these were... Besides some changes here and there, these were pretty faithful to the movies. This is Wes Craven's New Nightmare, the novelization, and this was actually a really cool novelization. It was fairly close to the movie, and there was actually the author and like the editor story was in here, which was interesting, like what was happening to the author, you know, so it was like a fun tie-in. And obviously, um, are there pictures in here? Yes, there are. There are some pictures in here. Um, you know, but most importantly, the coolest thing ever, you guys, is that I actually met Heather Langenkamp at a horror convention, Monster Mania. This August, I met her. It was one of the best moments of my entire life, and she signed in here for me. I got her autograph. Um, it says, to Nick, this is just a script, right, Wes? And then she signed Heather Langenkamp, and it was very, very cool. Other people were surprised this was even a thing. A lot of people don't know about novelizations. Like, obviously, the hardcore fans do, but just people in general don't really know. Um, and even she was surprised. She asked me, she was like, how different is it from the movie? And, you know, um, we definitely talked about New Nightmare, and it, probably this and Dream Warriors are my favorite. I love it so much. Freddy versus Jason, again. You know, um, fairly close to the movie. Are there any pictures in here? Are there? No. Um, but the ending is different. Nightmares on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger's Seven Sweet Dreams. And these are kind of stories that have to do with Freddy Krueger. Um, I did not read it yet. You know, but I don't know if Freddy, I don't know, I don't know how much Freddy plays a part in them. But I think they're just some stories involving Freddy and dreams and like, Really cool. I'm so happy I have this too. Okay, so this is Nightmare on Elm Street, Ripped from a Dream. So this is a collection, look at this thick book, of many um, stories. Uh, Suffer the Children, Dream Spawn, and Protégé. And um, they're all in here, binded up. Um, more Freddy content, the better. All right, you guys, here is Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror. So, obviously, in the 90s, you know, young adult horror was the thing. Christopher Pike, R.L. Stein, and various others, you know, were really dominating the, the market, <laughs> I guess. And Freddy Krueger, you know, this is kind of, he has his own tales of terror. And I like that they used his look from new nightmare um but it's kind of it, this more is so of tales of the crypts and uh twilight zone like and it's an anthology horror but freddy is the host look at that i love that i love it i'm so happy i have it i didn't even know these were a thing um i received them from a gift from my girlfriend and oh my god she really <laughs> she really surprised me but you know, and I know they were not cheap, but wow, I'm so happy to own them. And these, I have all Nightmare on Elm Streets, um, except New Nightmare, but they're these books. And they're almost in the style, they're in the style of children's books. Um, this is why I can't be like a librarian, but look, there's pictures in here. And, you know, um, it's literally like a children's book. Actual colored photos in here. Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, and the back, all the backs are the same, the same art. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, I mean, look at this, 
Look at this beautiful cover art. Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. This is Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Imagine if they had 3D glasses in here. That would be dope. Very cool. And I also have a custom doll to show you guys as well. And another cool figure, so. And I have this custom Nancy doll. That, again, I didn't even know this was a thing, but you know, this is her look from Nightmare on Elm Street 1. She's holding the, and let me, she's holding the fedora and the tongue phone. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. Doll is amazing. Any collector of horror, he has so much on eBay and everything, and they're reasonably priced, really, and you know, so of course I wanted to keep his name, but look at that. Nancy, Freddy Krueger, the Terror Tunes, you know, and I kind of just prop them up there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Are you a huge fan of Nightmare? Are you a huge fan of Nightmare on Elm Street? Please comment down below. Let's get the conversation going. Um, are right, you guys? Thank you so much for watching. Peace! <laughs> should, I, should I even still do the piece? I don't know. I think I need to move on from that. <laughs>